Good evening baggers. I actually managed to get out and fish a match last weekend. Only the second match I've fished since I got back from Italy. It was the Lawford Theater Championship Qualifier and that was last Sunday. That's just some footage for you. I was actually fortunate enough to go on and win the match um, and secure a place in, in the £6,000 final which takes place in October which is only a day after the Larford Feeder Championship Festival as well which is a three day competition. Over the moon to be in that final but I've got to openly admit it certainly wasn't in the manner that I wanted to qualify. If you're curious as to why that is then I'll be uploading that video for you on this channel next week so get subscribed up so you don't miss it so that's a nice big juicy live match video for you next week it's been a hectic week i've been busy at work busy at home and all that sort of stuff i've got matches coming up that i've been prepping for um i managed to swap a feeder masters ticket i've never done that before like that and um, somebody offered to swap one for me i've got one for carmel they got one for southfield so i swapped fantastic it actually means i'm going to get a chance to go and fish southfield something that as a lot of you know I don't really do anywhere near as much as I'd like to so thankfully I've got a feeder masters ticket for that which is in you know just two or three weeks time I think it is so it'll be great to get back to Southfield I've had a bit of bad news this week um, this has flared up again um, I haven't had trouble with my arm since um, well it was two years ago in the world pairs it was a terrible week for me as regards that I was taking tablets and all sorts it's flared up so unfortunately I'm gonna have to miss the the Bow Beach Festival by the looks of it, um, gutted, absolutely gutted, you know, looking forward to seeing all the international anglers over there and, you know, you know, I'm gutted over the moon and privileged to have an invitation to fish that event, but I've just got to think about what's coming up in the future and just kind of rest in this wherever I can, otherwise it's just going to go on and on, so I'll be watching the results very, very closely, um, apologies again Lee uh, and everyone concerned, but, you know, thanks for the invite, but you know, I just really hope it's going to be a massive success. It looks like it's going to be. Um, and yeah, I'm obviously from a spectator's point of view, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it pans out. I've just got three quick questions for you tonight. So don't forget tomorrow is four minute Friday. There's a video every night this month. So obviously tomorrow I'll go through some more questions. We've got three quick ones now for you that people have asked me this week. So the first question is, I'm thinking about going to the Vaughan Canal next year in the event that you fished. How would you recommend travelling? There are two ways of getting there from where I live. I can either drive right down to the south of England, cross under the Channel Tunnel and then drive from France up the coast up to Holland that way. That obviously involves a lot more driving. The way that I went and the way that I would you know, prefer to do it in future if I was to do that event again was drive to Hull, which is only 60 odd miles away from where I live. So that's nothing, is it? 60 odd miles to Hull, and then the overnight ferry to Holland. And then it's literally only about 15 miles from where you get off the ferry. So that, as you can tell, is just very, very minimal driving. And you get a bit of a, a break, obviously, with it being an overnight ferry. So it's a lot more of a relaxing way to get there. Hi, Jim, I often hear you talk about matches in the past. How do you manage to remember everything? <laughs> I don't. Um, everybody's memory works differently. For me, I haven't got a photographic memory, but I've got a, um, a visual memory. So in other words, if somebody tells me something, I might not always remember it. But if you show me a picture of something or I remember being there and seeing it myself, then I seem to remember that better. But I'm no genius. I use match diaries. It's something that I learned off Will Rays and Mr. Ringer does it and all that. I've done it for the last four years. I just keep a diary of all the matches that I'm in, you know? And it's very, very, it's just in bullet point form. I mean, this is the kind of thing I talk about more on Patreon TV. So if anyone's interested in that, the link's directly underneath. But I just bullet point the things like, I don't I don't like make it long-winded and say, well, this session I fished with so-and-so mix and all that. I don't, I just bullet point it, you know? The name of the ground, mate, how far out you fished, what rod you might have used what your weight was, what won the section, just really so it's nice and simple and easy because if it's nice and simple and easy, easy to do 
then you're more inclined to do it, aren't you? You know, when you get home from fishing, if it only literally takes two minutes to do it, you're just more inclined to do it and keep on top of it. Hi Jamie, can you recommend hook patterns for fishing with bloodworm on the feeder? Um, the main hook pattern that I use for bloodworm fishing on the feeder is one that I learnt about and was kind of brought to the attention of uh, by an angler who was nothing to do with Matrix um, and that was the Supermatch hook and that was in Serbia that was two years ago was it or three years ago um, the only well the first time that I ever fished in an England shirt we went over to Serbia and we were catching little catfish only that big I think I had 64 of them on, on day two um, and you know that's when I was kind of introduced to the Supermatch hook Incredibly sharp hook, but very, very, um, it's, a, it's a barbed pattern, but it's very, very strong. I actually went on and landed a seven pound barbell on the Trent using one of those on the feeder. So that shows how strong they are, but they were a fantastic hook. And they're the hook that I use when I'm bloodworm fishing, if obviously you can use a, a barbed pattern. So yeah, the super match hook. Some of you may remember, it was quite a few months ago now that I actually went and fished. It wasn't billed as a head-to-head, -head, but it's more of a comparison session against Mark Pollard, Polly, the legend, on a, on a, a Yorkshire canal. I think it's classed as Yorkshire. Uh, we filled it, the weather was horrendous and it was me fishing and Mark fishing and it was filmed by Craig Butterfield at Matrix. I may have mentioned it at the time, I'm sure. But anyway, it's just been uploaded. I know a lot of you have been waiting to see it. I know Polly's got loads of fans out there. And to see us both fishing similar tactics, but with slightly different twists, I think it's a, a really interesting video. It's been put together really, really well by Craig. The conditions were horrendous, but if anybody wants to check that out, it's now live on the Matrix YouTube channel. I'll put the link there for you just so you don't have to go looking for it, all right? So when you watch this video, you can go back to this bit, just press that link and it'll take you straight there. Um, so yeah, brilliant video that I, because it was so long ago, I actually really enjoyed watching it again because there were little bits that I forgot about, but that part of the stretch of the canal there is stuffed with fish. It fished really, really well. And it was great to fish a new venue as well. So um, yeah, pleasure making that with you, Craig and Polly. But anybody interested in that, just check out and click the link. I've had loads of messages about the Pennine Championships. For anyone who missed the video yesterday, at the end of this video, there will be a, a rectangle about there. Just press that, that'll take you straight to the Pennine Championship video, which I did. It was uploaded yesterday. It's a competition that takes place on the 12th of August. <clears throat> so obviously that's only a week away. Um, it's a fantastic competition. It's an annual event on the Danflash Reservoir close to where I live here in Sheffield. So anyone interested in fishing that, just watch the video, it'll give you a rough taster for it, tell you what species. The venue looks stunning with the sun on it the, the other evening when I was up there. So check that out, that's at the link right at the end of the video. So don't forget, Four Minute Friday is back tomorrow. There's a video every night this month. So if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. You'll not miss a video then and obviously you'll see the growth of the channel. There's going to be so many different um, varied topics as you can imagine. It's 31 days in August so you can imagine how many topics we're going to get covered. Lots of stuff here from the tackle room obviously because my time on the bank is a little bit limited at the moment but I'll be bringing you a video every single night this week so please hit subscribe. If you want videos that are a little bit more in depth, things like you know match diaries, how you actually, you know, the little kind of points that I only cover in coaching sessions and stuff all that is really detailed on Patreon TV so the link is directly underneath if you want to have a look at that but like I say get subscribed up thanks for the viewers so far this month really appreciate it I know a lot of people are looking forward to a bit of variety this month you know it's not all about just kind of live match footage it's about talking about fishing and ideas and sharing experiences and that sort of stuff so all that's going to be coming out throughout this month so thanks for watching really appreciate it and don't forget tomorrow night there'll be another video waiting for you at this time so thanks for watching i'll see you all tomorrow